guys, so two new releases prompted this video and I didn't want this to be a battle of kind of video. I wanted this to just be more so informative, helpful, because I know um, this can be overwhelming when you go to a store and try to pick up some SPF. Some people don't really know the benefits of it or um, how do I say it? Or just the risks of not using it every single day can be to your skin. So you wanna look for uh, UVA and UVB, there's some sunscreens that protect you from both types of ultraviolet lights. So if you look at the bottle and it says broad spectrum, it'll protect you from both lights. Recommended amount of SPF for a daily use is SPF 30. You also want to keep in mind that some SPFs aren't water resistant. So if you're going to the pool or the beach or anything like that, uh, and you're going to be swimming, uh, it's not going to last all day. And just because it says waterproof or water resistant doesn't mean that they'll wear off. Uh, they'll last longer than, you know, your typical SPF with no waterproofing or water resistant, but uh, they still will wear off. Now, if you're using chemical exfoliants like AHAs, uh, you know, glycolic acid, things like that, or just exfoliating in general, you definitely want to make sure that you are protecting that new layer of skin. It will get damaged and it will get burned and you visibly can't see it, but uh, somewhere were to look at your skin underneath, you know, a microscope, that is what they would see. So you really, really, really want to protect that skin. What prompted this video were these two new releases. Glossier released a sunscreen, a daily sunscreen, which is awesome. And then Kate Somerville, which is, this is super interesting. I know you guys want to hear about the Glossier one, but I will talk about this one next. So here is Glossier's Invisible Shield daily sunscreen. Now, what I like about this is I love the super, you know, dinky packaging that they always do. Uh, it's an SPF 35, so it's great for every day and it's broad spectrum. So protects you against both different UVA, UVB. Uh, and what I like about it is the consistency of it. It's this like, it's almost like a serum. It doesn't feel like a, a normal, typical sunscreen. And it's really lightweight. I think great for all skin types, to be honest. I think everybody can use this. And it doesn't feel sticky or tacky. There's a bunch of antioxidants in this. There's uh, vitamin E, vitamin P, broccoli, aloe leaf extracts, so very, very good for the skin. There's also that sweet orange essential oil in it, which is that citrusy smell. But like I said, it's really, really soft, but it has this like watery gel texture. I think that's what amazes me the most because I'm really used to like the sticky, goopy, white, tacky, traditional sunscreen, which is what I think it puts so much people off. But this, it feels so, so good. Love this stuff. I will leave my rep page down below if you're interested. New customers get 20% off and it releases today. Now I have another SPF that's, it, it was just super interesting to me and all of my lazy girls can re relate to this, but I think this is awesome. It is um, Kate Somerville's Soft Focus Makeup Setting Spray. Now, this is also a broad spectrum SPF, SPF 50, but it is a sunscreen setting spray. It has happened to all of us where we're, we've been like, oh shit, or I just, I don't feel like putting on SPF today. It's another step that I just don't have time for kind of thing. But I think this is quick, or this is awesome if you're just running out of the door and you just realize that you haven't been able to put anything on. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is nice and hydrating for the skin. I think it's great for all skin types. I think it, it'll work for anyone. It doesn't make me feel greasy or oily at least, but just make sure you don't spray it too close, but it's awesome. I think this is such a freaking neat idea, even like when topping up at the pool or at the beach or something. Now, for my girls who say that SPF breaks them out, which I am, I can relate because I have the same issue. <laughs> Hence, I've been testing out SPF for a couple, what, like a week and a half, and my skin is just going nuts. But uh, this actually has been helping, and I really, really like this. It has a long name. Are you ready for it? Okay, here we go. So, 
the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. Uh, and then it has niacinamide in it, which helps acne prone skin. Um, and it has zinc, which is pretty cool. And it says it's for skin types prone to acne, rosacea, hyperpigmentation. So I think this is another genius product. Uh, this one feels more like a moisturizer. Super, super lightweight. Again, it has that broad spectrum. So you're protected from all sides. Very, very happy with the niacinamide and the uh, fact that it has zinc in it. So if you suffer from breakouts or you just have, you know, angry, inflamed skin, you still want to protect it. So um, an SPF like this is great. Next up, I have the Oso oh typical uh, famous, the La Roche Posay. This is the Face 60 sunscreen. It's also broad spectrum and it is in the Anthelios. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. 60. Uh, ultra light sunscreen <laughs> fluid. Holy shit. Okay, so uh, this one's actually water resistant. It's fragrance free, it's paraben free. This one on my skin. I'm combination, normal combination skin. So I get oily in the T-zone. I'm pretty dry everywhere else and I do suffer from acne. But this I found, I think it would work well on like a drier skin type. Um, I don't know, it just felt very tacky to me. It felt a little bit too heavy on my skin type. But I think this would be perfect for a drier skin or a normal skin. Okay, for my oily skin girls, here is one. This one has an SPF of 30, and it's Kula's Mineral BB Cream Mineral Sunscreen. This one definitely has that silicone type of feel to it. It does have dimethicone in it. It has silica in it. There is a number of things in here that are also hydrating as well, but this was just way too um, drying for my skin type. But if you suffer from oily skin, this will be perfect for you. It says it's tinted, which, I mean, it's like a flesh tone kind of color. But it doesn't really change or alter the way that your skin looks. So um, I'm not sure what purpose that serves. <laughs> but uh, maybe to just even you out if you're just wearing sunscreen on its own. Now here I have one for sensitive skin types and also acne prone skin. It happens to be from Kiehl's. Uh, and this is their super fluid UV mineral defense sunscreen. Now this is broad spectrum SPF 50. Um, it's 100% mineral based, which is nice. And it's great. It has um, antioxidants in it, vitamin E, great for everyday use. This one also has a tinge or a tint to it. It's almost like a gray tint. So you kind of have to really work this in and then just let it sit for a little bit. It didn't break me out at all. Uh, the one that gave me issues was the, the, the La Roche Posay, I think, set my skin over the top, but I think it's because I've just been using so many different ones to do this video for you. But I will say that makeup sits really nice over all of these. This one, perfect, again, for sensitive, prone to just breaking out once using um, SPF. But my skin didn't feel congested and I love it. I think it's a really, really good one. Now this I've been using for a little bit and I really like it because it's actually it's a two-in-one product, and this one's from Aven, and this is their Complexion Correcting Shield. And it has its broad spectrum, SPF 50. It's, it's super multitasking, so uh, it's pretty thick. The best way I've found to apply this is with a really damp beauty blender, but it can be full coverage, or you can shear it out to almost nothing. But I am in the shade medium. It comes in light, medium, and dark. So for those who just really don't have the time or need to get somewhere and just need to even your complexion out, this is perfect. I think I'm going to get a ton of wear out of this come summertime when I just, I can't be really bothered wearing makeup. But isn't, it doesn't, it's like the semi-matte finish because it's not super glowy, but it also isn't just flat out you know, matte, there is some type of 
fluidity to it but super good i would say if you're really oily this one might not be for you it might be too sticky or tacky uh, but if you have like a dry to normal combination skin those will be perfect now i've saved the best for last everybody i feel like everybody has this in their closet or makeup um oh gosh in their skin care can speak I feel like everybody has this in their skincare stash. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. Again, broad spectrum, 30. And um, it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes, but who doesn't have this? This is like your typical drugstore sunscreen, that white pasty um, feel, but it doesn't, again, it's not super tacky or anything like that. It definitely has that like sunscreen smell to it. This is so nostalgic for me because I used to use this like back in the day. A lot of skin types will get on with this. It doesn't break the bank. You know, you're not spending a ton of money on it. I hope that that was insightful for some of you. Maybe this will help you pick up something that, you know, an SPF that you're dying to try. I will say that my favorites out of the bunch has to be the Glossier one just because of the texture and all of the ingredients in it. The plastic, super easy pump. It's so easy to use. I don't feel like I'm adding another step. It doesn't feel like sunscreen or look like sunscreen, which is maybe why I'm okay with it. The Elta MD Skincare, uh, the one, this one is great for like days that I'm just having issues with my skin, which has been a lot as of late <laughs> and I will have to say the Kate Somerville this setting spray if this literally like blows my mind I can't believe that something like this exists and I feel like I'm the last person to know this <laughs> has something like this been out and I'm like freaking out about it get your SPF on make sure to wear it it's like one of those things where I feel like people say oh if I get stuck on a deserted island I'd have to have my SPF and I'm like okay well, what SPF do you use and why? I wanna know. So I'm super nosy when it comes to stuff like that. I don't know about you guys, but I am. Again, everything will be linked down below. Um, I will link this to a blog post with just SPF tips. So if you wanna read up on those, go ahead. I will leave it all linked down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.